So on the HVAC side, if we get the house correct, then we can properly heat and cool the house. So if we know the air changes, we can design the equipment size to that house. Once we do that, we have to size the ductwork. And to each room needs a certain amount of air. So once we have all these calculations, we can confirm that the proper airflow is being delivered to each room. We do what's called a manual J calculation, and that is the calculation to let us know what size equipment we need. Then we do what's called a manual D, and that tells us the size of the ductwork. So when we come out and part of our HVAC system audit, we do these calculations room by room. Most of the time you can just do the block load, which is the whole house itself as one big square, rectangle, depending on the shape of your house. Just take the whole thing and then know that whole box needs a certain amount of air, but where does all that air need to go? So doing room by room narrows it down and lets us know how much airflow needs to go to each room. Bedroom one, bedroom two, bath, living room, kitchen, and so forth. So then we know what's needed and required for each room. Then we go in with what's called a flow hood that measures the airflow that you're actually receiving in each room. And then we can see what's happening and what's going on within each space to properly heat and cool that space as well as your returns, measuring all your returns, making sure you have enough return on each level of the floor. We find there's a lot of return being pulled in the basement and not enough supply. And so all the air is being pulled down into the basement and that can happen why basements are so cold and with duct leakage and so forth. So if it can produce a certain amount of airflow that's needed, is it being delivered to the space? Is it getting from the unit to the space? So it could be getting lost in the ductwork, and that could be from where the connections are. There could be gaps in those connections. How it got put together, there can be some gaps. So we would measure all this to make sure that it is sealed up completely. It's one closed loop when you're installing an HVAC system. It's got the return air coming in, it conditions it at the unit, then it's got the supply air that supplies it to all the space.